Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Okay, um, I am a little, a little bit tired. Okay. But uh, now I try again to stay in class. Excellent, that's the attitude. And remember that this week is short. <laughs> yes, but always I have work on in the job and in, in harm and in whatever place. <laughs> I know, I know. But at least on Friday you will be able to go to sleep early. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, how do you say? Uh, sin duda. No doubt. No doubt, yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, remember that this Friday is day off, okay? But tomorrow we have classes, okay? I want to see you tomorrow here. So, um, Carlos, how do you feel? Mm, uh, similar to uh, yesterday. Oh, my goodness. I but... think nothing better. <laughs> uh, mm, is for ratos uh, for moments for moments okay for moments <laughs> no better <laughs> okay all right well uh, uh, keep taking pills or the medicine that you are drinking all right so you can get better soon all right Thank you. Yeah. And uh, everybody, welcome to the class. I can see only three cameras on and the other ones. I want to see you guys. Come on. So good news. As you see, um, remember that Friday we don't have classes, but again, tomorrow we have classes. So tomorrow you have to be here. Okay, I want to see everybody here. Okay, everybody, welcome, welcome to the class. Welcome. Uh, thanks so much for being on time. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Yes? No? A little bit? Yesterday, talking about uh, uh, the Finnish uh, dialogue and uh, the, the receive the uh, mistake approach. Ah, very good. That's it. So, everybody, do you remember the topic yesterday? Everybody? Yes. Did you practice on the platform? For me, not yet. Okay. And you guys, did you practice on the platform? Mm. <laughs> All right. Remember, platform is important, please. You have to practice. Okay, we are going to start today class, and today we are going to practice something different. Um, remember that we need to try to improve in the simple past. So we are going to practice a little bit that, okay? Uh, if the time is enough, we are going to practice simple past too. So everybody, let's pay a lot of attention, okay? Um, let's see, can you listen to me very well? Yes? Yes. Um, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. I, today, uh, I, I uh, don't don't know review the class the class seven and class class yesterday. What do you mean? I uh, I I I I I I wanted the the the. To watch the the the, the class, uh, class number seven, uh, class uh, yesterday. 
Yes, of course. You can do uh, yeah. uh, in, 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 do No. It's on don't, don't. 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 I'm sorry. Uh, no estaba en la plataforma, perdón. Ah, okay, guys. If you want to review the class, you can go on YouTube. Okay, there is a link if you remember on WhatsApp group or uh, they shared a link. I can resend it again. Look, uh, look, this is the playlist. It's a channel on YouTube. Here on YouTube, you will find every single class. All right. You just have to click on the class that you want to review and there it is. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is on YouTube. So okay. I'm going to resend the link on WhatsApp group. Okay, so and if you want guys to check the class, you just go to the playlist and you can watch the class that you prefer. Okay. Uh, I, I, I send it, I send the question in the in the WhatsApp group. Uh, uh no, I don't re, 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 receive the the dance room. Okay, no worries. I'm resending it right now, no worries. Um, I'm going to see over here. Okay, I already sent it. It's on WhatsApp group. Okay. I already sent it. So guys, there is the link on WhatsApp group. Um, if you want to watch the classes, that is something that I always recommend. Okay, if you feel that the topic was difficult or if you couldn't be in the class, so you can always review the topics. So there is a link. And remember, if you have any questions, you can always let me know. Okay, now uh, let's start, everybody. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Let's see, let's see. Okay, can you see the presentation one? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So today is July 5th. And basically, guys, we are in the week number two. Okay. And if you remember, this is the vocabulary that we studied yesterday. So do you remember the meaning for startup? What was startup? Do you remember? It's like to start something or or about a strategy about the product or about the job. Hmm. Okay, everybody, do you mm -hmm. agree? A company that is just beginning to operate. That's cool. Remember that this is a noun. If you remove the dash, so then is a verb. That is basically to start something, okay? Now, how about outsource? What is that? Do you remember? Uh, Letter C. Arrange for somebody. Arrange. Exactly. Arrange for somebody outside of the company to do the work. Okay, then frustrated. What is frustrated? Letter D, feeling annoyed mm -hmm. and impatient because you can do or achieve what you want. Very good, excellent. And what is flow with the Not perfect or perfect. Uh -huh. Very good. And the last one, la shout. What is that? Attack or criticize somebody in an angry way. Correct. Something that you never have to do, okay? Please. Very good. That was part of the vocabulary that we have been studying. Please, guys, always try to review it so you don't forget it. Now, this is the topic that we are going to study today. Do you remember the expressions of certainty? Yes? Yes? 
Mm. I'm sure about it. Ah, very good. <laughs> Excellent. I don't think so. Ah, very good. So if I say I'm sure about it, that is a phrase of certainty. If I say mm, I'm not sure about it, that is a phrase of uncertainty. Okay. So basically today we are going to focus on those ones, on the phrases about uncertainty, okay? So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Yeah. Class objective at the end. The class participant will be able to use expression of certainty and understand the relevant relevance of the seven races. Very good. So we are going to check some expressions of uncertainty, and also, guys, we are going to review some seven R's related to logistics. If you remember, we were talking about logistics. So today we are going to see seven R's that are related to that topic. Okay, let's start with some expressions of uncertainty. Okay, what are the expressions of uncertainty? We have this information, everyone, on your manual. So if you have your manuals with you, you can go to the page 22. Okay, let me open up the manual. There we are. Okay, what is that? I need a volunteer, please, for reading the definition. Me, teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, let me try Expression. to this bigger. Okay, go. Expression of uncertainty are used when you need to say that you are not certain about something or that something may or may not be true or when you have incomplete knowledge about situations. Very good, thank you. So in this case, guys, expressions of uncertainty is basically when you don't know exactly what will happen. For example, imagine if I ask you guys, mm, what do you think? Will it rain tomorrow? Hmm, are you sure? about what will happen? Yes or no? I'm not sure about it. Exactly, right? We don't know exactly what will happen. So that's why we can use these expressions, okay? And we already studied some of the expressions that we can use. For example, I'm not sure about it. I don't know yet. I'm not 100% sure, okay? Those are some examples of uncertainty expressions. But now we are going to learn other expressions, okay? And in this scenario, guys, pay a lot of attention when we are talking about the spellings, okay? When we are using these expressions, look, we need a comma, okay? Every time that we use this kind of expressions, we need a comma after the expressions of uncertainty. And here we got some examples. One of the expressions of uncertainty that we can use is this one. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Hmm, what do you think? What will be the meaning of that sentence? I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Have you ever heard that phrase before? Yes, no? Okay, what do you think? Imagine if I say, guys, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but I think that on Friday we are going to have classes. So what am I saying there? What do you think? 
Any idea? Okay, in this case, guys, this phrase means that you are not sure about it. So if we say it in Spanish, it's like, um, no estoy muy segura, right? No diría esto, sino, right, if I'm not pretty sure. Look at the example. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but the current financial situation may lead to lay off. After this expression, look, what do we need? We need a comma, okay? So everybody write this expression because we are going to use it, okay? Did you write it, everyone? Yes, teacher. Teacher. Yes? What do you mean layoff? Ah, very good. Everybody, have you ever seen that word before? Lay it off? No? Okay, lay off is a, when you lose your job. When somebody says you are fired, you cannot continue working in this job. So lay off is like the spiel, okay? Got it? Yes. Any other questions that you may have? All right. Next phrase of uncertainty. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Go ahead. What is the meaning of I wouldn't like to say this for, for certain in for Spanish? Cer for certain. Mm, okay, we cannot translate it literally. Okay, imagine guys, when you are talking and somebody asks you, but you are not pretty sure about it, what do we say? Mm, no quisiera asegurarlo, right? Um, or, mm, no puedo dar seguridad. Mm, no te puedo asegurar tal cosa. That is the meaning of, I wouldn't like to say it to certain. Okay? So, Thank you. you're welcome. Imagine, guys, if I ask you, um, let's see, guys, because this Friday we don't have classes. <laughs> will you work on the platform? Imagine that you are not pretty sure. What would you say? Mm, teacher. <laughs> I wouldn't like to say uh, this for certain but maybe maybe i will work on the platform okay that is an example imagine if i ask you guys um what will you do tomorrow in the afternoon uh-huh answer please using that expression what will you do tomorrow in the afternoon if you are not pretty sure Uh -huh. I would like to say this for certain, I but uh -huh. but uh, totally uh, I will go to visit my grandmother. Ah, very good. <laughs> That's excellent. How about on the weekend, guys? What will you do this coming weekend? Answer using the expression. What do you think? I'm not sure about it, but I, but I think go. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. Uh -huh. but, but I think uh, go to tomorrow. Okay, pretty good. Imagine in this scenario we can use another phrase. Instead of saying, I'm not sure, we can also say, mm, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but maybe I will go to the mall, all right? So that is another expression of uncertainty that we can use. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. 
And if you listen to your names, say present. Um, Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander. I'm here. Okay. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Um, let's see, let's see. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Nestali. Present teacher. Very good. Eulice Torre. Present. Very good. Jose Miguel. Okay. Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Josma Natilia. Present. All right. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Present. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present. All right. Um, Pamela Carolina. Oh, I think she's listener. Okay, very good. Um, Rafael Alexander. Present. Very good. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Um, Santiago Roberto. Okay. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Excellent. Very good. All right. Remember, guys, write the vocabulary because we are going to use it. Another expression of uncertainty that we can use is the next one. Look. We can say, not to my knowledge. Have you ever seen that phrase before? Not to my knowledge. No? Never. Okay. Not to my knowledge is the typical phrase in Spanish, like when we say, no que yo sepa. Sepa. <laughs> exactly. So, for example, if they say, hey, will we have classes on Friday? If you are not sure, you can say, not to my knowledge, right? No que yo sepa, okay? Uh, imagine if your classmate says, hey, will we have an exam next week? Mm, not to my knowledge, mm, but I don't think so, okay? So, we are just using an uncertainty expression. Um, let's see, guys, do you think that El Salvador will go to the next uh, World Cup in soccer? Not to my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good, exactly. Um, guys, will we have an exam tomorrow? Not to my knowledge. <laughs> very good so you see this is like you are not pretty sure about it so you don't know okay so write it down because we are going to use it another phrase that we can use when we don't know what will happen is as far as i know what is that what is the meaning of that phrase that's you say ah very good Mm, as far as I know, we are not going to have an exam, <laughs> okay? Or when we say in Spanish, like, mm, que yo sepa, <laughs> right? No, we are not going to have an exam. So imagine if I say, mm, everybody, um, let's see, let's see, will it rain this weekend? What do you think? Not as far as I know. <laughs> Very good. Or you can say, right? Ah, as far as I know, mm, it will be sunny, right? As far as I know, I think that this weekend will be hot. Okay? So write it down, please. The idea is to use those phrases. Now, look at this one. When we are writing, imagine that you have to write an email. After the uncertainty expression, remember, what do we need? 
Uh -huh. Look. What is that? What do we need? Comma. A comma. comma. Exactly. Of course, when we are talking, <laughs> it's not necessary. But just in case that you need to write, remember, we need a comma. Now, we have another expression of uncertainty that we can use, but these ones, they don't need a comma, okay? And some of them are the following. I doubt. What is the meaning of I doubt? What do you think? Dudo. Exactly. Mm. This is like, mm, lo dudo. Lo dudo. <laughs> exactly. Very good. Mm, for example, if I say, eh, will you work this Friday? It's day off. So what will you say? Mm, I doubt it. <laughs> All right. Lo dudo. I don't think so. Instead of saying, I don't think so, we can say, I doubt it, okay? A synonym for this expression is, it's very unlikely. What is the meaning of, it's very unlikely? What do you think? Poco probable. Correct, exactly. So everybody, will you work? This Friday, what would you say? Sorry, what the meaning? What do you say? What the meaning is very unlikely. Oh, it's very unlikely means es poco probable, right? That means that we don't have a lot of possibilities to that happen. Okay. Uh -huh, guys, will you work this Friday? What would you say? Answer. I doubt it. Very um, good. I doubt it. Or mm, it's very unlikely. Okay. Do I need a comma after these phrases? No. Not really, right? So, pretty easy. All right. Remember that when we pronounce this word, doubt, it's just that, doubt. We don't pronounce the letter B, okay? Um, we don't say, I doubt. No, we don't pronounce the letter B. We say just doubt, doubt, okay? Teacher. Yes? Can you repeat? What do you mean as far as I know? Ah, okay. As far as I know is when we say in Spanish, um, hasta donde yo sé, okay. right? Or when we say, mm, que yo sepa. Okay. Que yo sepa, right? We are not going to have classes on Friday. Or hasta donde sé, we are not going to have classes on Friday. Got it? Okay, did you copy the expressions, everyone? Yes. Okay, let's see if you paid attention. Don't look at your notebooks. Okay, um, which expressions of uncertainty uh, can I use? Tell me, tell me the expressions that we just studied. Don't look at your notebooks. Probably. Probably, what else? I doubt it. I doubt it, yes. What else? Tell me the expressions that we studied. Oh my gosh. As far as I know. As far as I know. What else? Not to my knowledge. Very good. Not it's very me. unlikely. <laughs> it's very unlikely. And the ones that is very long? Uh -huh. No wouldn't like to say this for certain. That is the one. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Very good. Okay, 
which phrases, uh, the ones that we mentioned, which of those phrases need a comma? I doubt. I doubt needs a comma, yes or no? No. No. Ah, very good. They don't need a comma. The other ones, which one needs a comma? Uh, I'm no, I know to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge, yes, needs a comma. What else? As, 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 far, as, far, as far as I know. As far as I know, needs a comma. Very good. And I wouldn't like to say these for certain. Ah, very as well. good. All right, pretty good. Okay, so if you see everyone, it's pretty easy to use these phrases. The idea is to learn more vocabulary and to use those expressions. Is it clear the meaning on, of all those expressions? Yes? Are you sure? Maybe the first. Which one? Maybe if we could the first. The first one? Yes. Okay. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, everybody. What is the meaning for that? Do you remember? I don't have... Uh... Yes. If you want to translate it into Spanish, it is like, mm, no me gustaría asegurarlo, right? Or it's like, mm, no me gustaría decirlo because I'm not pretty sure. Remember that in Spanish, guys, sometimes we don't translate literal the phrases because Mm, no me gustaría decirlo con certeza. Casi que no lo decimos así en Spanish, right? In Spanish, lo decimos más como, mm, no me gustaría asegurarlo. Or, no me gustaría darlo por sentado. Okay? So, those are the phrases that we use. Okay? Okay. Pretty good. Is it clear, everybody, these phrases? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Now, we are going to practice. I have here different questions and I want you to tell me what will you do, but I want you to use the expressions of uncertainty. But listen, I know that we studied some of the expressions like, I'm not sure, uh, I don't know yet, okay? But in this moment, I wanted to use the phrases that we just studied. I wanted to use these ones, okay? I wouldn't like to say this for certain, not to my knowledge, as far as I know, I doubt, or it's very unlikely, okay? Let's try to use those phrases. For example, imagine if I say, guys, what will you do next weekend? Ah, you can say, mm, as far as I know, next weekend, I will, and you continue with the sentence. Ah, as far as I know, next weekend, I will sleep late, okay? Or, um, I wouldn't like to say that's for certain, but I will go to the beach, All right? So, I wanted to describe what will you do in those scenarios but try to use the expressions of uncertainty. Is it clear? Yes? Is it clear the activity, everybody? Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to send the scenarios on WhatsApp group and remember the rule. I wanted to give details and yesterday we were talking for one, minutes yes so in each scenario i want you to try to give an answer that lasts one minute so give details everyone what will you do next weekend tell me as many sentences as possible you can explain the reason why imagine if i say well as far as i know next weekend I will sleep a lot. Okay, why? I because I'm very tired. I I'm I want to rest. It's been a long week. 
I want to relax and ta da da da. Okay, so the idea is try to talk for one minute. Understood, everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Can we speak in Spanish during the practice? No. Never. Very good. I will be listening, guys. So be careful with that. I'm sending the scenarios on WhatsApp groups. Let me open up the breakup rooms. Please, everybody, enter to the breakup rooms and practice. I can see some people that don't enter to the breakup rooms. So be careful. Be careful. Remember, participation is important. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let me just open up the groups. Okay, let's go to work. Hi. Hello. Hello, guys. <sighs> hey. Uh, begin. Yes, you are the free this all the time. <laughs> uh, what will you do next hey, weekend, first, Carlos? Elias. Carlos. What? I, what will okay. ah. what guys. will you do? Hi, Hi. Edwin. Uh, what will you do next weekend? Uh, what will next weekend? Yeah. As far as, as far as I know. If we can, um, I have the, the, um, I have the meet the, the people. I have the, on the, I have the meeting. I don't listen very well. I don't know if my, my audio or Elias, do you listen good? Um, a little. Okay. Just a little. Uh, continue, I, Carlos. You don't, you don't listen? listen you don't. Actually, yes, but at the beginning, I don't listen very well. But continue. Okay. Uh, I told you uh, as fast as far as I know next weekend I I will uh, meet with the people uh, Saturday and Sunday uh, only only that I maybe as Mm -hmm. uh, not to my knowledge to uh, I rest okay <laughs> next okay. my turn <clears throat> yes. I you listen to me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I would like to say for sure. Uh, I, next I have. Oh, sorry. I have. I ha I would have. I wouldn't like uh, to say for sure. Uh, next weekend I will travel to Argentina. Uh, but that is not possible because I have to work. <laughs> um, but really, really, uh, I would really like to visit Argentina because 
Um, I wanna see all the cities in the Patagonia and in the future, I hope that I can travel to this country. Uh, next. <laughs> okay, Edwin. Okay, in my case, it's very unlikely. I will stay at home because my aunt come from USA and she like to live uh, and visit uh, many place in El Salvador and I have to go with her because she don't know where is the place she just see in the internet and she said I want to go to this place and I have to figure out a uh, worries or how to uh, yeah, uh, arrive, have to arrive at uh, uh, this place. Yeah. Okay, in my case, as for as I know, I will go to San Miguel. I will uh, visit uh, some farmers in this department for my job. Um, not to my knowledge, but I um, hope we'll eat uh, pollo campestre um, in I think that the pollo campestre is different uh, in San Miguel uh, that here in San Salvador. And I will work maybe Saturday. And maybe I can, uh, will, I can, I will can sleep uh, on uh, Sunday. Only that. <laughs> there is a pollo campestre in okay. San Luis. It's very why, interesting. Why do you think that the, the pollo campestre is different? I try in uh -huh. here and is different the taste which one is better for me on san in san miguel on or in in if it is city in. we say in okay in san miguel i think that is better <laughs> really okay yes. i didn't have idea about it and you guys have you ever eaten for no, your best never. Days, right never say hear that <laughs> for me it's is better. Which one? The crunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you, Edwin? Uh, I listen. Uh, in my case, I tested, but I have a problem. Yeah. My connection. Ah, okay, Carlos. Yeah, I think that the audio arrives some seconds later to you. Uh huh, Edwin, you were saying? In my case, um, I tasted, but not in San Miguel. Uh, okay, but do you like it? Yes, the uh, flavor is good. <laughs> okay, if I travel to San Miguel one day, I will try to taste it just to see if it is different or not. <laughs> That's interesting. I've yeah. never heard that before. <laughs> okay. Excellent, guys, because you are using the phrases. Now, let's try to give details. Always, let's imagine that you had to talk for one minute, okay? Let's continue, please. You are doing great. Thank you, teacher. The next question is, what will you do? Be alive. I don't know if 
if I will be working. I don't know, but uh, I would like a. Uh, I would rather stay at home with my family, watch a movie, and, and take the rest of the day. What about you, Carlos? Uh, uh, the truth mm -hmm. is that I, I don't know what could happen, <laughs> but uh but i would like it to be very special my birthday and jose mm, hi I believe that my my wife always give, give me a, a gift in my song too ta también eh, we siempre we always celebrate my birthday in, at home only that Okay, guys, good. Don't forget to use the phrases, all right? Uncertainty phrases. And remember, let's pretend that you are talking for one minute. So invent, invent details, okay? Let's try to give me more details, please, okay? Let's try to give me more. Continue, what is the next okay. question? Next vacation, what will you do? the next vacation, uh, Carlos? Oh, is, the question is very, very interesting. Uh, on my next vacation, uh, I would like to visit Panama. This is my dream, this is my dream. Wow. Uh, uh, because uh, I I visit I visit I visited the beach uh, the beach more than more than all I uh, uh, I like the the city the city Panama, the Panama City. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and you guys? Well, <laughs> I would like to visit uh, on the next vacation. Uh, if we are talking about a uh, country, uh, it will be Canada. Mm, wow. I don't I don't know why really, but always I think about the Canada. <laughs> and I don't know. I like I like this country. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. But as far I as far as I know, I don't know if we will do it. <laughs> but I would like Well, maybe we never maybe. know. Yes, yeah. yes. One like... never knows. Okay. Who else? In my next vacation, our family want to want to go to the beach because my son is learning to swim.
Mm -hmm. He is excited. Mm. If if in vacation go to the beach. And which beach would you like to visit? El, el Cuco Beach, Costa del El Sol. Cuco Beach. Ah, El Cuco Beach. Why? Why El Cuco Beach? Because it's near from my city. Where do you live? Uh, I am live in Chinameca. Ah. San Miguel. All right, pretty good. So you see, if I ask you guys, you give more details. So that's what I need. Try to give more details. All right. Okay. And okay. um, don't forget to use expressions of uncertainty. Some of you are not using those expressions. So be careful, please. Uh, I can see Hosman is here, everybody. So you can continue asking him too. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hosman. Hello, guy. Hi, Hosman. Okay, what will you do uh, the next vacation? On your next vacation? Uh, the next vacation for women, no planner. And I will be the, the beast on beach. Um, more relaxing in my house. <laughs> I need relax and sleep and I'll, uh, I'll relax more, more, uh, more job is a uh, very exactly and tired one moment is necessary to uh, relaxing and with the family visit a different place and or and we'll uh, eat a other restaurant, for example. In this moment, no planner the next vacation in October. <laughs> For them, but that is as far as you know. Sorry, don't forget to use the phrases, guys. So, my recommendation is start your answers with one of the uncertainty phrases. So, you can say, As far as I know, my next vacations will be in October. My family and I, we want to go to the beach. Or you can say, ah, I want to stay at home because I need to sleep. I want to relax. But don't forget to use the expressions of uncertainty because we don't know exactly what will happen. I mean, we don't know if we are going to have vacations, right? I mean, everything can happen. So don't forget to use those expressions. Okay, so guys, if you listen to your classmates is not using the expressions, tell them, okay? okay continue, okay. please. You are doing great. Try to give more details. Go ahead, continue. Okay, Salvador. What but uh, for it, desserts, dessert, thanks. If you want it in this place, I don't recommend you. The food is not good and very expensive, very expensive. Yes, okay, because, yeah, you're right. Because uh, allowance for you, uh, the cost is around 18 or 20 dollars. Very, very expensive for me, <laughs> very expensive for me. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, nice recommendation. Yes. And thank you. Uh, so for nice. Nelson. Nelson. Uh, what will you do uh, in vacation? In vacation? On vacation? Is on vacation? On vacation. I'm not thank sure you. about it because um, I need to take a a rest uh, right now. <laughs> I'm I'm exhausted and 
I want to travel uh, to uh, any place that I don't know yet. Um, but I want I want it to travel to uh, Honduras. Ah, awesome. very good. But take, 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 Nelson, take care in this country. <laughs> take care, please. Why? <laughs> yes, because, it's dangerous. Honduras, Honduras is. Uh, listen to me. Uh, two uh, one years ago. In Central America, the uh, country most dangerous was El Salvador, but now it's Honduras. In Latin, in Latin America, is Mexico. In Central America, uh -huh. Central America was El Salvador, but now in Central America is Honduras. Honduras is dangerous. You have to uh, Take care, man. take care, friends. <laughs> only, only I say that. Take care. Okay, it's very unlikely to go there. <laughs> no, because you, you, you think a uh, go uh, uh, a place touristic touristic place. I I think it's no the beach. Yeah, uh, no, don't the don't beach. don't dangerous because uh, the people. Uh, care care the these tourists but but if you 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 want to work in the in the city in the town if some some that dangerous it's not some it's very dangerous okay thank say thank you for the advice <laughs> Yes, yes. Other, um, other don't go. <laughs> you have to change. Yes, you have to. You have to. You have to change the trip. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. Nelson. I'm sorry, you but, scare uh, me. <laughs> but, uh, but 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 the it's the truth. You change my my travel. <laughs> so you see, that is a good scenario to use the phrases, right? So you can say, "Hey, man." I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but <laughs> that country is dangerous. You shouldn't go. You see, we are using the expression. Yes. Yeah. I recommend you a, a country, a country, um, more safety. Uh, Nicaragua. Salvador. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right now, yeah. Yes. Yes. But Nicaragua too. I. 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 I is. Almost since I spent two years, two years in this in this country, uh, around five five years ago, five five years years ago, I live uh, two years in this in this country. It's that, very very. That is five years ago. <laughs> How about what? now? Huh. But the life in the in this country is expensive. In Nicaragua. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, no, no. It's I hear you, I hear about uh, that no, the life no, no, is no. expensive. I live in this country around two two years because I I I I I, I worked in this country. But the but the, the but the life is 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 cheap. It's cheap. It's cheaper than in Salvador. Yes, yes, a lot, a lot. It's all right yes. okay <laughs> sounds good okay guys because of the time we need to go back to the main room all right okay, okay. very good let's go back okay. nice practice with Bye. you okay time's up let's go back to the main room everyone Okay, let's wait for everybody. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Could you answer all of the questions? Yes, no. teacher. All the questions, teacher. <laughs> no, teacher. No, the, the truth is not. But that is something good. That means that you were talking a lot. Did your classmates provide details? Yeah. Yes. That's my great. Classmates, my, my classmates are very good.
Very good. Very talkative, right? Yes. Talk a lot. Excellent. <laughs> that's the attitude. All right. That's great. Remember, guys, the more details you give, I mean, that's the best that you can do. Okay. Um, let's see. Welcome, everybody. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, did your classmates, guys, use the expressions of uncertainty to answer the questions? Yes. Yes? Excellent. Very good. Did your classmate provide a lot of details? Yes. Yes? Yes. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? No. Never, right? Not Never. even a single word. Okay, now, excellent job, guys. I was listening to uh, some groups and I like the way that you are participating. Excellent, that's the attitude. That's what I want. I want you to practice, okay? I want you to speak. Now, there are little details that we need to keep in mind, especially when we are talking, little details in grammar, okay? For example, can I say she don't know? He doesn't, it's the correct. Ah, very good. The correct one is he doesn't. Remember that is third person. Now, can I say I will can sleep? No, I should, I will be able. Very good. Remember that can is a modal. So we cannot combine one modal with another modal. If we want to say can in future, we don't use can. We use be able to. I will be able to sleep. Mm -hmm. That is the one that we use for future. Um, then my family want to go. Is that correct? What do you think? My family want to go. Want? Ah, want. good. Family. Oh, yes. In this case, family is third person. Third is person. Singular, yeah. exactly. That's why we need to add the letter S. Be careful, don't forget it. Um, imagine if I say, I am live in San Salvador. Can I say this? I'm living. Living. You have two options. If you use the verb to be, you have to say, living. I am living. living. But also, you I can live. say it like this I live. live. I'm living in San Salvador, or just I live in San Salvador. Okay? Be careful, be careful. I need relax. I need to relax. relax. To relax. Ah, very good. Two, we need to separate the verbs. I need to relax. A more cheap. Cheaper. Cheaper. Ah, very good. You see, you know that. Excellent job. So we need to say cheaper. More we have a learning teacher. No. We have a learning. <laughs> yes, you are, of course. Now, I'm going to interview you, okay? And you talk, you need to talk for how much time? Uh huh. How much time do you need to talk? One minute. Yes. I'm going to interview you. And remember, I want you to use the expressions of uncertainty. Do I have a volunteer who wants to try? Right. <laughs> Wilbur, yes, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> he wants to be a volunteer. Thank you, Wilbur. Okay. okay. Wilbur, tell us what will you do next weekend? Go ahead. Mm, as far as I know, I don't know because I uh, I don't know if I will have enough time because I I got to go to Central Center. So uh, it's very crowded there. So I don't know if the time will be enough for me. After that, uh, uh, I should have to work uh, by myself, but I don't know the time 
will be enough for me. Uh, but if it is, if if that is, if I have not uh, the the time that I know, I doubt it. Uh, if I will work. Yes. Uh, so uh, uh, it is in. I have the. I had my my second. No. I had the job in the second plane. Entonces, <laughs> very good. You see, guys, you can do it. Look, Wilmer, very good job. And she was using the expressions. Very good. I like that. Okay, Wilbur, do you have the, the privilege to pick someone? One of your classmates, please. Okay, I chose, I don't know. I see so many people boring. <laughs> the ones that hey, is not the Nelson, ones that is come not on. Nelson. Okay, Nelson. Why? <laughs> Nelson, when is your birthday? Wait, me. I just don't remember your birthday. <laughs> I'm nervous, sorry. <laughs> it happens my, to me. My birthday is on uh, 30th, August, August 30th. On August uh, 30th? Yeah. Ah, okay, all right. So Nelson, tell us, what will you do on your next birthday? Talk for one minute. Okay. Uh, as I as far as I know, and this day uh, I they I take a uh, rest because in my job uh, bring a gift uh, for the the middle of the the day for rest and could be uh, go to the cinema to see to watch uh, a movie or um, go to any uh, some uh, any tour for example that after the war I like to go to known a uh, lot of place uh, in El Salvador and could be for the night. Uh, I will go to eat something. Time's and... up. <laughs> Very good. You see, and you wanted to continue talking. That's great. <laughs> Very good. Very good. You see, guys. One minute, pretty easy. And Nelson used expressions too. Nice job. Nelson, who's next? Pick a volunteer. Elias. All right. Elias, are you there? I cannot see you. Okay, I think Elias is sleeping. <laughs> Elias. Okay, pick someone else. I think uh, he is not there. Edwin. <laughs> ah. Congratulations, man. <laughs> okay, Ed. I'm imagining. <laughs> okay, Edwin, think about your next vacations. What will you do? Um, um, I do. Uh, I stay at home. Because my friends want to visit, my friends when I visit them in Guatemala, and I have go to Guatemala on August, in August, and meet my friends, and they want to go to many places in Guatemala that. She wants to show me uh, Antigua, Guatemala, the Guatemala City, and all other place around Guatemala City that, sorry, where they live. After I plan to stay at home with my family and enjoy the last date in El Salvador. 
<laughs> Very good. Excellent. One minute. You see, easy or difficult, guys, to talk for one minute. So what do you think? The second easy. round is easier. <laughs> So, I mean, if you see, guys, um, what happens is I know that sometimes we feel nervous, right? When we get nervous, we forget um, the ideas, we don't find the words, but with the practice, the more you practice, the more confidence you will be, okay? So keep going, keep practicing. Now, I have a question, and this is something that I listen to in different classmates. If I say a lot of place, is that correct? Place. Places. Places. A lot of places. If I say different place, I will go to different place. Places. Places again. Places. places. Exactly. So just be careful with the plurals, okay? Now, because of the time, I cannot continue interviewing you, but no worries. We are going to have more speaking activities. All right. Any questions so far, everybody, about the expressions of uncertainty? No questions? Are you sure? As far as I know, it's very unlikely. <laughs> All right, but at least you're using the expression. Excellent. Sure. Because I'm reading. Uh, but practice sure. that so you can memorize it. Okay. <laughs> yes, Carlos, tell us. Sure. Yes? Uh, and the expression, I wouldn't like to say this for something. Mm -hmm. what, is, uh, what is the opposite? Okay, it's something breaking up, but do you want to know what is the uh, opposite for, I wouldn't like to say this for certain? I don't know if is that the question. Yes? I, I, yes, I have a problem with my, my connection. Yeah. So I don't understand. All right, <laughs> well. As far as I understood, right, he's trying to know what is the opposite of, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, right? If I'm not wrong. If you remember, guys, some classes ago, we checked this box. Do you remember this box? Yes? No? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. These are the opposites. Remember, these phrases express certain. Okay. So the opposites of the phrases that we study today are this one. If you don't want to say, um, like, mm, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, that is uncertain. The opposites of those expressions are these ones. Certainly, or obviously, um, in all likelihood, of course, surely, those are the opposite. Understood? Yes? I don't know if I answer your question because uh, the connection is not so good. So, so teaching, my connection. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I hope your connection gets better. Or if we cannot uh, understand pretty well, tomorrow you can ask the question again so I can explain it. Okay. Because, Great teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Hey, guys, do you have any other questions about expressions of uncertainty? Yes? No? Well, not all right very well okay guys now because of the time we need to continue talking about something different and now if you remember guys some classes ago we were talking about logistics do you remember that word 
logistics yes oh my goodness <laughs> yes or not no no sorry i'm not so minded <laughs> no worries but at least you're honest and you guys what is logistic if we are talking about a company for example what is the what is the function what is logistic what is that is the transport is the translate the, the product the in the in the in the many places mm -hmm. places and places <laughs> yes that is one example there are some companies that they need to transport different products from one place to another so the logistic what do they do they need to plan everything right they need to have the control the inventory everything in order that the transportation happens in the correct way at the correct time that is logistics and in every company they have different plans not only from transportation guys remember that related is I mean, logistic is related with everything. Got it? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Now, now you remember a little bit that word? Yes? Yes. Yes. yes okay. Perfect. Now, when we are talking about logistic, it is important to know the seven letter R's. Okay? That is what we are going to study today. What are the seven letter R's that we need to know? Okay, to start with, we are going to read. I have here a conversation between Alex and Pam. Okay, they are talking about some issues with their order forms and their distribution centers. So basically, they have issues with the logistics so i need to volunteers for reading who wants to read me teacher okay elisa thank you who else me, me teacher thank you osman okay elisa you will be alex and you will be pam okay let me open up this is on your manuals guys okay so you can read it over there too okay yes. let's start reading go ahead Seller will go down this month. Pam, there was a problem with the other fronts from the website. Website, uh, I don't know. Website, yes. Website and the products were not deliver delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no. Please call the managers from distribution centers that received 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 or, received or batteries. We had to inform them of the right storage temperature. 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 I already did, but there is there is not something. I have to tell you one of the what's not handled correctly and the barriers are damaged or uh, how can I, how uh, damaged damage damage okay mm -hmm. I will come then personally to request for the damage batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. That's great, excellent. Okay, what is happening in this conversation, guys? What is the problem? What happens here? Uh, they have a good, uh, a good order or a good uh, process about no. the order. All right, what is the product that they are talking about? There is a battery uh, website. Ah, so they are talking about some batteries, right? Mar and what happens with the order? 
Did they have the right product at the right time in the right conditions? What do you think? The problem for me, teacher, is the no very, very information, the product and the distribution and in the body uh, with uh, adequate local, the product, because the temperature, for example, uh, or their client, this is the problem. Is and the product uh, occasionally different or dangerous activity in the logistics. Ah, very good. So do they have problems with the logistics? Yes or no? Yes, for me, yes. Definitely. Look, in this uh, conversation, right, it says that they order some products, but the products, look, were not delivered to the right distribution center. Mm -hmm. So problem with the logistic, they sent the product to other place, not to the right one, okay? So imagine also what is happening here. This is very delicate because if they are talking about batteries, they need to be storage at the right temperature or they will be damaged. Another problem that they have, look, crates, it's like box, okay? So one of the box was not handled correctly. So they damage some product. So they have a lot of issues with the logistic, okay? When we're checking these uh, issues, we need to think in seven right steps that we need to consider in order to have good logistic. And that's what we are going to check right now. Look at this vocabulary. Uh, I need a volunteer, please, for reading. The two sentences. Me, yes. teacher. Uh, one of the most most popular concept of the logic management management is the concept of the seven years. Hours, seven hours, hours, seven hours. Match the help help lines to the corresponding exam examples, compare your answer with partner, partner. Thank you. All right, so guys, we are going to see the meaning of the seven R's. The first R is right product. What do you think? What is the meaning of right product? If I buy something online, for example, hey, I'm going to buy a dress. And when my package arrives to my home, it's not a dress, it's a book. Did I receive the right product? What do you think? No. No, right? I didn't receive the right product. So, logistic. One of the main concepts is right product. That means that the customer receive exactly what they order. Hmm, right product is important for you as a customer, yes or no? Uh -huh. Imagine that you are the customer. To receive the right product is important for you? Yes, 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 yes. yes, definitely. How will you feel if you receive the wrong product? How would you feel? Would you feel happy or would you feel angry? Possible angry. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, the customer angry. Teacher, mm -hmm. in, in my company, uh, I, I work. Mm -hmm. uh, the custom the the customer 
Nike uh, wants a size color uh, specific. If if we if we send other size, other color, other quantity, we have a problem. Ah, we have very a big good. Problem, big problem. Exactly. Yes. So you have to be careful with the logistic, right? What your classmate mentioned, guys, is exactly what we are going to see. First, the right product. That the product is exactly what the customer or what the client is asking for. Another detail that your classmate mentioned is the right quantity. What is the meaning of the right quantity? What do you think? Uh, quantity correct. Yes. That means, imagine, if I buy online, for example, three books, how many books do I need to receive? Three. Three, no, three, three books. No more. No less. more, no less. Exactly. But what happens if I receive only two? Is that the right quantity? No. The, the, the customer can put in a char bag. <laughs> exactly. So right quantity, right product. Okay. Are they important? Yes or no? It's very important. It's important. Yes. yes, important. Totally, right? Exactly. Another R that it is important in the logistic is the right place. What happens? Imagine, guys, that I have two houses. I have one house in San Salvador and I have one house in San Miguel. I buy something online. And I added the address of San Salvador, but the company sent the product to San Miguel. Is that the right place? It depends mm -hmm. of the information. Ah, but imagine I gave the address of San Salvador, but they sent it to the other house in San Miguel. Hmm, is that the right place? No. No, right? If you remember the conversation that we read, what happens here? It says that they ask for a product on a website and the product were not delivered to the right distribution center. Did they have the right place? Yes or no? Uh, no, they weren't. Not really, right? So, hmm, right place. It is important, yes or no? Yes, yeah, right. Definitely, yes. right? Totally important. Okay, another R is the right customer. What is the meaning of the right customer? What do you think? Is it when... Uh, uh huh. Continue. Is, continue. Is when uh some people uh is to be no when people uh -huh. is the correct for to buy a correct uh, product. Mm, okay. Because um. The customer uh, could be not correct for the product because right. it could be uh, it, there is a um mania so I was in no say it's okay. not correct customer. Ah, all right, that's a good example. Very good. Or imagine guys that, just imagine that we sell a product. You need to know what kind of product you need to offer to a specific customers, right? Or imagine that Osman asked for a product, <laughs> but because we have Osman that their names are similar, 
they got a mistake. And instead of sending the package to Osman, they send it to Osman. Ooh, is that the right customer? Yes or no? No. No, right? It is important, the right customer? Yes, yes, very important. Yes, totally, important. Totally, right? Totally important. So look, we are checking different logistics problems. So right product, right place, right customer, right quantity. Right. Another important is the right condition. What is that? Yes. Yes. Yes, as well as the condition important. What is, what is that? What what does it mean? Right condition. Uh, the where the product uh, oh. don't 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 arrive broke. Ah, break. broken. Broken. Exactly. That when you receive the package, the product is in perfect conditions. Right? It's not broken. It's not damaged. It is important, the right condition? The color exactly. Very good. So imagine in this case, when we are talking about the color, it will be more like- The side, the side, the, 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 the age, correct. The side, the age, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, but those characteristics are more for the right product. Because we are talking about to receive exactly the product that you order, the right color, the right size, uh, the right object. In this case, for condition, we are talking about it could be the right product. I mean, pueden recibir el producto correcto, but not in the right conditions, right? Imagine that you order a laptop, the laptop is right. I mean, is the right product? It's exactly the laptop that you order, but the laptop is broken. So which R is not correct? The right product or the right condition? Which one fails? The right condition. The right condition, exactly. Okay, now, um, right time. What is the meaning of right time? What do you think? On time, the product. The customer uh, have get the pro in the in, in on time on time on time on exactly. Time. Imagine guys that you buy something and it says you will receive the product in two days. Okay, one month later, <laughs> and you don't have the product. Is that the right time? No. No, definitely not. Right time, it is important. What do you think? Yes. 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 Totally. yes. Very good. Exactly. Totally. And the last R that we are going to see is the right price. 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 What is that? It's, it's important. Why? Absolutely important for the. Sorry. What also, is it? The, 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 I, I, I pay the price correct. Ah, to pay I don't, the correct mm, price? Yes. Mm -hmm. In this in this case, teacher, the, the 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 fabric or sellers cannot change the price. Very good. Just imagine, guys, that in the website says $10. But when your credit card bills arrive, it says that they charge you $40. Is that the right price? No. No, right? No. So right price, is it important for you? Yes or no? Yes. Totally. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yes. So if you see guys, here we got the seven R's. Seven R's of logistics. If you have all of these correct, that means that you have a good logistic. But if you fail 
in some of these ones, that means that you have problems with your logistics. Is it clear the meaning of these seven R's? Yes? Clear? Maybe I need to know uh, more about the uh, right customers. I right have... customer? Yes, please. All right. In the right customer, guys, and we are going to see some examples, we can think about two options. The first one is when you are able to recognize which product is the correct for each customer. For example, imagine that my company sells uh, video games. Do you think that a person of 80 years old is my right customer? Okay. Do I need to offer my product to a person of 80 years old? Yes or no? My company sells video games. Which one is the right customer that is going to buy my product? Do you think that a person of 80 years old is my right customer? No. No. <laughs> Not really, right? The younger. Uh, I need to offer the product to a younger person. So maybe teenagers, right? People in their 20s, maybe, okay? That is an example of the right customer. Also, right customer means to send the package to the right person. Again, sometimes we have people with the same name, right? And we can get a mistake. There is Anna, Ana Lopez, for example, and we have Ana, um, I don't know, I know her last name, Flores, for example. Okay, I just saw the name Ana. Ana Lopez is the one who buys the product, but I sent the package to Ana Flores. Is that the right customer? No. No. Right? Definitely not. So that is the meaning of the right customer. We need to offer the product to the person, the correct person that is going to buy it. And when we sell the product, also we need to send it to the right person. Yes? Teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, well. To the best of my knowledge, mm -hmm. uh, logistics is about the uh, process of product uh, about the cell, about the in, company? In this scenario, guys, in this class, we are going to relate it to that, to sales, uh, transportation, warehouse, okay? But remember that logistics is in every single company. For every company, depending on the type of company, the logistic will change. For example, in my case, uh, for in support, do you think that the logistic is the same as if we are talking about a, a Walmart? What do you think? No, Same because in Sephora uh, offer a service and maybe Walmart offer products. Exactly. So both companies have a logistic plan. Okay. However, the logistic will be different depending on the type of company. Yes. But uh, always focus to the um, the price or the product. Basically, yes. Because in this case, guys, imagine just think about a hotel. A hotel don't sell products. They offer a service, service, right? But they can also have the seven R's. Instead of the seven, uh, of the right product, of course, they will talk about the right service. service. They need to offer the right service. If a person asks for only one night, they need to offer the right service. If 
the customer, imagine I have a hotel in Santa Ana and the same company has another hotel in San Miguel. And the person says, I want to stay in the ones in San Miguel. I need to offer the right place. Please. Please. So it doesn't matter the company guys, we can also relate it the seven R's in their logistics. It can change a little bit depending on the type of company, okay? Okay. So think about your own company, guys. Can you think, imagine if you work, a, well, I don't know exactly in which company you work, but you can relate this. Can you apply the right price in your company to your customers? Yes. Yeah. Pueden aplicar esta R en su compañía to the right price? Yes. Offer the right price? Yes. Ah. yes Can teacher. you apply the right time? Yes. Ah, so you see, that's the idea. Va a cambiar un poquito, depende del tipo de company that we are talking about. Understood? Yeah. Got it. Excellent. Yeah. Pretty good. Now, Let's have a little practice. Let's see, guys. We are going to have some reading comprehension. Here, I have different scenarios. I have different companies, and you have to match the correct right R with examples. For example, imagine if I say, let me pick one. Mm, number two, the company Dell. Do you know that company? Yes, I yes. do. Yes. Very okay. good. It says that Dell must have strict controls about what? Strict control and process to ensure, I mean, to be completely sure that the products ordered, I mean, the products that the people ordered on their website are delivered to the right locations. According right to this definition, right what do you place. think? Right Which place, one? teacher. Right place? Are you sure? Yes. yes. Okay, if you think that is the right place, okay, you have to write it, okay? Right place. In this moment, I want you to write the correct word in the correct example, okay? I will give you guys five minutes to complete this exercise and later we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. My recommendation for this exercise is identify the key words. Las palabras claves, okay? That's what you have to do. ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes? No, teacher. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to explain again. Listen, uh, here I have different scenarios, different examples. For example, the ones that I have here about the company Dell. Dice que Dell is a company that they need to have strict controls to ensure that the product that people order on their website are delivered to the right location. Si estamos hablando de entregar el producto en el right location, ¿de cuál R estamos hablando? ¿Del the right product? ¿The right place? The right, right, place. Place. The, right place. the right place. The right place. Okay. So, si creen ustedes que es el right place, lo escriben aquí. Ah, okay. I think that is the right place. Okay. So, that's what you have to do. Quiero que escriban cada una de las correct R's in the correct example. Yes? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay. You have five minutes to complete this exercise. And later, we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not, okay? Go ahead, you have five minutes. Mm. 
Read carefully, everyone. Remember key words. Try to identify the key words. If you have questions, just let me know, please. If there is a word or if there is a concept that you don't understand, tell me and I will try to explain. Perishability. I'm sorry? Perishability. Where is it? Um, the number three. Oh, perishability? Yes. Okay, in that case, guys, we are talking about uh, those products that they expired. For example, food or meal. Tienen fecha, tienen fecha de expiration, right? So, después de un tiempo, mm -mm, we cannot use them anymore. So, that is the meaning of perishability, okay? Is it clear? Number one, mm -hmm. the Amazon is a. It's a company. Retain, retain, retain time. I'm sorry. The Amazon must ensure mm -hmm. uh, deliver with within two days. If the customer can get it with two days from some other company is a great time, right? Are you sure? Yes. Mm, okay, if you think that is right time, write it. Write it down in your notebooks. Later, we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Okay? Okay. Pretty good. Remember, guys, in each example, we are talking about different companies, okay? We are talking about Amazon, we are talking about Dell, grocers, um, well, the local ketchup, uh, Samsung. Uh, we are talking about uh, some other companies that are offering products like the smartphone, laptops, HUL company too. So in all of the examples, if you see those names, those are the names of the companies. Try to identify the keywords, okay? If you have questions, let me know, please.
Deixa eu ver. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Do you have the answers? Yes or no yet? Uh -huh. Do you need more time? Yes. More time? More time. Okay, I will give you more time. No worries, continue, continue. If you have questions, let me know. I can help you. If you don't understand a concept, let me know. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. I'm not, I'm not sure uh, about sentence uh, number six. Okay. The products that the customer needs. Is that one? Yeah, what does the mean? E e either. Oh, either. This word, guys, is when we have two options. So in this case, it's saying... Los productos que el customer necesita, right, son o podrían ser ya sea para hoy o en el futuro. So either means ya sea para hoy o para el futuro. That is the meaning for either. Okay. Uh, yes, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure about it. What is the R correct? <laughs> Uh, you don't know the the which is the correct R? Yes, yes, I, I think uh, right uh, right product right product. I don't know. Could be, could be. Because look, we are talking about the product that the customer needs. So, what are the product that the customer needs? Ah, do you think it's a smartphone, laptops? So could be, could be the right products. Okay. Take the risk. We never know. We are going to verify the answer. Yes. No worries. Okay. okay, everybody. One more minute because the time, time flies. So one more minute and we are going to start checking the answers. Okay. You finished? Yes. 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 Excellent, very good. All right, the first R is right product. Where did you write that word, right product? Mm -hmm. Number four. Teacher. Number four? Mm, okay. Or in which one? Where did you write the right product? Number, Number six. six. Number six, teacher. Okay, some of you say number four, some of you say number six. Actually, the correct one is the number, da, 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 number six, right product, okay? Why? Because look, we are talking about the customer, customer needs. needs. Exactly. So, ¿cómo saber qué producto le vamos a dar? Well, depending on their customer needs. Okay, 
Now, okay. number two, the right place. Where did you write that one? Right place. Number two. Number, number two. two. Number two. Why? Why do you think that is the number two? Because in uh, in the end in the end the sentence uh -huh. uh, we we can write write locations. Correct. The key word. That is the, key the keyword. Word. Yes, the key exactly. Word. Pretty good job. Then we have right customer. Which one is the right customer? Number one. Number one. Number four. No. <laughs> okay, some of you say number one, some of you say number four. Another idea? Number four. Why do you think number that four. is the number four? Is the four. It works, it's a, a bull on the bottle. It, the, 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 uh, the customer prefer in the uh, product. Ah, look at this concept. A local ketchup manufacturer, so la compañía que genera la ketchup local, right? ¿Qué pasa? Vende las ketchup a quienes? Algunas tiendas, right? Ajá, uh -huh. in package, right? And they are labeled bottles. And to a bulk customer in big cans. What does it mean? Algunas companies se las vende in package. In package, yes. Pero, ¿qué pasa con algunos customers? Algunos customers se las venden in big? Big cans. cans. So, what do we need to do there? We need to know the right customer. Correct. Customer. Exactly. Very good, guys. You are reading. You have reading comprehension. I like it. Okay, right quantity. Number three. number three. Why? Why do you think that the number three is the right quantity? Because the grocery yeah, has to be quantity the required. Quantity. Yeah. Quantity of the product. Excellent. Very good. So we got quantity over here. Okay, right condition. You don't know? Okay, right time. Where did you write right time? Number one. Uh, right time number is uh, uh -huh. number one. Number Maybe one. number seven. All right, number one or number seven? Seven. Why do you think number that it's the number one. seven? And why do you think number that it's one. the number one? And the number one is talking about the time in today's. In today's, okay, why do you think, guys, that is the number seven? Because say that right time delivered to customer. Ah, look at this, guys. Both of you have a good point here. Yeah. If you see in the last number seven says that the product are available yeah. in the warehouse to ensure, I mean, to be completely sure that it will be in the right, right time. time. So the number seven is right, right time. Time. A right price. Which one is right price? Number five. five. Number five is five. right. Price, if you five. see, it says, right, corresponding prices. So it's missing only one, the right condition. Okay. So what happens in the condition here? Just pay attention. Imagine, si un cliente puede tener el producto. Imagínense que están comprando en línea, right? Compra un producto en Amazon. Amazon me lo está ofreciendo en tres días, pero voy a eBay y eBay me lo está ofreciendo en dos días. ¿Qué va a hacer Amazon? Hey, no, Amazon says, ok, si ellos le pueden dar el producto en dos días, entonces nosotros también. Entonces, estamos hablando de condiciones iguales. So, I'm offering the right condition. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. yes. Perfect. Easy or difficult? The reading practice. So, so. So, so. But actually, you did it great. You did it super great. 
actually, guys, um, <laughs> honestly, I have done this exercise with some other groups. Y ustedes son los que más rápido y mejor lo han resuelto. Así que, I mean, so far so good, guys. Very good. Keywords, that's the secret. Ok, identifiquemos siempre cuando estemos leyendo keywords. All right. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Ok, we have to continue. Guys, oh, mañana, no. mañana sí hay clases. Ok, mañana <laughs> quiero verlos a todos aquí. Now, uh, the winner who has to stay today, ta -ta 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 well, I don't know if it is there. Elias, are you there? I think he's sleeping, right? Sí, <laughs> the second attempt. Oh, yes. Uh, but no worries. Uh, la revisé mientras ustedes estaban trabajando, so, yeah. Okay, uh, because I'm not sure if Elias is there, I'm going to ask to... Eh, José Salvador, you are the winner for today. Salvador, are you there? Good night. <laughs> Good night. So everybody, you can go to sleep. Only Salvador has to stay. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good, Good, Good night. See you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. All right, Salvador, how are you? Uh, I'm very well, teacher. Excellent. So, uh, Salvador, do you prefer Jose or Salvador? Uh, Salvador. Ah, okay, excellent. So, I don't want to take a lot of time. Oh, is that your son? Yes, he's my single son. Ah, uh, very good. Hello, boy. Hello. What's your name? I'm Nagy Joel. Ah, that's excellent, Joel. Nice to meet <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, excellent. So you see, you should practice with him. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. Uh, this little meeting, Salvador, is just to clarify some questions that you may have. So is there a question about the class? or about the platform, or about a topic that you feel difficult? Mm. I, I believe, bueno, de modo lo voy a hablar en español. <laughs> okay, fíjese, Mire, fíjese que yo entiendo el, 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 cuando usted habla en inglés, yo le entiendo prácticamente todo. Excellent. Pero cuando me toca hablar, me, me bloqueo. ¿Qué, qué, qué me concede? Se traba todo. <laughs> All right, I can listen to Joel. Um, look, eso pasa. I mean, no quiero que se me desmotive. Y la única forma de mejorarlo es practicándolo. Right? Entre más lo practiquemos, más lo vamos a ir mejorando. El error que muchas veces se comete es, como a mí me cuesta el speaking, mejor no lo voy a hablar. No, ese es como el error más grande que podemos cometer. So, my recommendation is, aquí en la clase, practice. Practique lo más que pueda cuando vayamos a los breakout rooms. Hable, trate de practicar con sus classmates. Cuando yo pida voluntarios, trate de responder aunque le cueste. There is no problem at all. Hay que ir como soltando la lengua y lastimosamente el tiempo aquí en la clase es muy corto. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? Practicarlo fuera de la clase. Um, no sé si usted tiene alguien con quien practicarlo. Cuando yo estaba estudiando el idioma, yo no tenía nadie con quien practicarlo, right? Nadie en mi familia hablaba el idioma. So, ¿qué tenía que hacer yo? <ríe> Hablar solita. A I mí, mean, suena loco y raro, pero funciona. Yo le recomiendo, uh -huh. si se fija, yo en WhatsApp siempre envío las preguntas, siempre envío eh, lo que practicamos en los breakout rooms. Así que yo le recomiendo que agarre esas preguntas y empiece a responderlas, hablando usted solito, así en voz alta. Póngase a decir, ah, ok, ¿qué voy a hacer el próximo fin de semana? What will I do next week? Y responda la pregunta y grábese. Yo le recomiendo que tome el teléfono y se grabe Responda la pregunta, trate de dar detalles y luego la escucha. Ahí usted va a ver 
qué es lo que está fallando, si usted siente que la respuesta fue muy corta, si habló muy despacio, si no supo cómo decir una palabra. Entonces, luego, cuando ya lo escuchó, identificó sus propios feedbacks, entonces dice, ok, la voy a responder otra vez, pero hoy lo voy a hacer mucho mejor. Y respondemos la misma pregunta, pero siempre nos volvemos a grabar. ¿Ok? Es importante uh -huh. grabarnos porque al grabarnos vamos escuchando nuestros propios eh, errores y así es como lo vamos a ir mejorando. Uh -huh. Pero este es un ejercicio que usted tendría que hacer todos los días. ¿Ok? Porque así es como lo vamos a ir mejorando. ¿All right? If you want, eh, también algo que podríamos hacer, if you want, eh, usted podría enviarme algunos audios. Tome una pregunta y si usted quiere que yo escuche el audio, puede enviármelo y yo le voy a decir, ah, ok, ¿qué áreas necesito que trabaje? O, por ejemplo, ah, ok, este audio estuvo bien, pero necesito más detalles. Ok, so, if you want. Uh, pero sí le recomiendo que esto lo haga todos los días. All right. Eh, I don't know if you have any other question. Uh, otro detalle que le cueste. Which one do you think that is more difficult? Siente que grammar le cuesta los ejercicios, el speaking. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Grammar for for me is is easier. Ah, very good. So básicamente solo el speaking. Siente que le está costando. Mm, sí. Okay. Sí, el speaking. Ah, y, y cuando pone audio de de, de listening. Ah, ok. So, hay que practicarlos también. All right. Con los listenings, eso sí, también es algo que se va desarrollando mediante la práctica. So, mm -hmm. en sus ratitos libres voy a necesitar que se ponga a escuchar música en inglés, pero no la escuchemos solo por escucharla. No, I mean, uh, busque la letra de la canción y trate de mm -hmm. ir escuchando según la letra. Así usted va a ir identificando las palabras. Right? También en internet. Uh, en internet hay una variedad de sitios web. Usted solo debe colocar, imagínese que usted coloque ahí, ejercicios de listening en inglés. Y puede co empezar con un nivel básico. Escriba en internet eh, ejercicios de listening en inglés, nivel básico. Uh -huh. Cuando ya complete esos ejercicios, luego escriba ejercicios de listening en inglés nivel intermedio y así sucesivamente y puede ir practicando, ¿ok? If you want, hay un sitio web muy útil que le puedo compartir. En mm -hmm. este eh, sitio web usted va a encontrar muchos ejercicios. Le, le voy a compartir el nivel básico para que vaya empezando, ¿right? Sí. Luego usted puede cambiar ya al nivel eh, intermedio. Sí, quiero ver. Give me a second. Can you see? Puede ver lo que le estoy compartiendo. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Aquí usted elige el tema que usted quiere practicar. Si se fija, hay un montón de temas. Aquí abajo hay más temas. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. usted dice, yo quiero practicar un listening que hable sobre vacations. Okay. Le damos clic en vacations y aquí van a encontrar los audios. Usted mm -hmm. le da clic. Trate de ir respondiendo, right? Ahí en su cuadernito. Y después, mm -hmm. si se fija, aquí abajo aparecen las answers. Cuando usted ya haya respondido, ¿sí? aquí están las respuestas. Usted puede verificar si las respuestas están correctas o no. Y también mm -hmm. puede encontrar el diálogo. Así que usted puede escuchar mm -hmm. el audio y puede ir leyendo lo que ellos van diciendo. Entonces, este website está muy, muy útil. Eh, al final, si, si nos vamos hasta el fondo, Look, ahorita usted está en el A1, que es como el principiante. Usted uh -huh. luego puede cambiar, luego puede irse al listening del A2, luego al listening del B1, que ya sería un intermedio avanzado, uh -huh. y así uh -huh. sucesivamente. ¿Ok? Le voy a sí. mandar el link ahorita aquí en el chat de Zoom. Eh, puede copiar el link if you want. Eh, ¿Puede ver el link? Yes. Sí. Excelente. Eh, puede abrirlo si quiere o copiarlo para que le quede guardado porque cuando se cierre Zoom eh, ya no lo va a poder tener. 
Así que ese es un website que usted puede usar para que vaya practicando el listening y así poquito a poco lo va mejorando. ¿Ok? Sí. Excellent. Me parece. Pretty good. All right. Eh, sí. so, eh, I don't know if you have any other question. Eh, solamente que fíjese que tuve una emergencia y salí por unos, unos minutos. Entonces no, no estaba cuando usted pasó a sistema. Ah, no worries. Ya se la coloqué. <ríe> Vaya, por favor. Y mi hijo le quiere mostrar su libro de inglés. Yes, very good. Excellent. Excellent. So, ya ve, Salvador, you and Joel, right? Sí, Joel, sí. Ok. You and Joel can practice together. Ok. Excellent. Yes. Y <laughs> también que, que, quiero concluir diciéndole, teacher, que usted es una excelente maestra. La verdad, disfruto cada clase porque usted... Eh, siempre bien dinámica y, y nos anima a, a dar un paso más, no quedarnos en la zona de confort en el inglés. Yeah, thank buena, you. Qué buena maestra tenemos en este nivel. La felicito <laughs> mucho. Thank you. My pleasure. Me alegro que, que se sienta así y que pues podamos trabajar bien juntos en lo que resta de este nivel para que <coughs> puedan aprender más. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, okay Salvador, the, this is all for today. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Yes. Goodbye, Joel. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See you.